you know, I really felt like I was stuck in my law enforcement career. But anyways, yeah, so I was uh, I was an LEPD officer for uh, almost 14 years. And gosh, th- this was totally a fluke deal, which, you know, kind of happens a lot to a lot of entrepreneurs. You see a door open and you kind of jump through it and see what happens. But, you know, I, I, I'll be honest, I was sick of the politics <laughs> at LAPD. I was, you know, um, I was getting benched for being out there chasing gang members and um, getting guns off the street and cleaning up neighborhoods and, you know, all that stuff. And I was just couldn't trust a lot of people in the police department. It seemed like all they wanted to do was promote. And, you know, that story, right? Yeah. I had a really heavy jacket. You know, my my personnel file was probably, you know, 200 pages thick. And, um, you know, <laughs> because you know, I've been in shootings, I've, you know, been shot at, I've done everything right. And I don't want to sound like the typical guy. And I don't want other law enforcement officers to be like, oh, yeah, whatever. But I did work in one of the most violent cities in, in Los Angeles. And I worked in Watts, South LA, I worked in East LA, Boyle Heights area. And those were very violent areas where, you know, in six square miles, we had 200 homicides a year in six square miles. Okay, so that'll yeah. give you the level of violence that we were dealing with. And when I was a policeman there in, in LAPD, it was it was probably at its worst. 